Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story has to do with haircuts. I just got my haircut and it does look pretty good. I'm happy with it, thank you, Tasha. And this story is called Arthur Garber, The Harbor Barber by Joe Frank. And this book was copyright in 2019. Here we go. In a seaside town on a cozy little bay, ships of all kinds often dock for the day. There a man lives, loved by tourists and fishers, known through the world to do magic with scissors. Ah. This guy, too, is pretty cool. Okay, anyways, back to the story. With his flawlessly cut and coiffed pompadour, Arthur Garber greets his visitors ashore. Ahoy there, he says as he shakes a wet hand. Come into my shop. Welcome to the land. A fisherman sits down in Arthur's red chair. He gives him a spiffy shag cut with much flair. The fisherman cheers, I'll catch more fish than ever. He returns to sea having never looked better. A flashy white cruise ship floats up with fanfare. And here comes the folks in fluorescent swimwear. Sunburned, well-fed, and rested to boot, the cruisers pile in plump like overripe fruit. Next comes the crew from a huge naval fleet. They need high and tight cuts, especially neat. Out comes the clippers that shear extra short, once they are clean cut, they'll be leaving the port. Captains of speedboats are always quick work. Rascals on rafts must look good when they smirk. Owners of houseboats want trouble free mains. Coast guards need locks to withstand heavy rains. One bright summer day, Arthur saw in the distance a crude raft and rider in need of assistance. When the castaway landed, a tale he did tell of a ship overturned by a tropical swell. For more than a year, I've been lost out at sea. My kids must wonder what's happened to me. Casting or catching the sight of his frightful reflection, he burst into tears, fearing family rejection. I can't return home, he wept. I'm a mess. But Arthur took pity and stepped up to the test. Come here, my good man. Sit down in my chair. Arthur sharpened his shears and took stock of the hair. There was simply so much of it frazzled and frizzy. Anyone else would have left feeling dizzy. What followed them became a maritime myth, a castaway saved by a master hairsmith. The sun rose and set. 
The tide came and went. Arthur chopped, trimmed, and teased until he was spent. Huh. And from under a pelt so wild and frightful emerged a young man who looked rather delightful. Strikingly styled, the fellow's spirit did swell. He thanked Arthur Garber and bid him farewell. His landlubber family must miss him so much, he hurried off shouting, I'll be in touch. Time and tide cycled as they do. Without fail, Arthur's passion for hairstyling never did pale. He thought of his castaway friend day and night. Was he safe at home? Did he make it all right? Then into the bay flew a bird with a note, the contents of which simply made Arthur float. Dear Arthur, it read, you sure saved my hide. When I returned home, my crew filled with pride. We think you're the best, so we've built a pontoon, and with any luck, we'll be seeing you soon. Be your captain of yacht or sailor of seas. Take from this story whatever you please. But for quality cuts, you need not float farther than the bay with the shop of the great Harbor Barber. The end. Well, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story and my new haircut. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.